Hi everyone, today I have an important subject. Many people are interested in this subject. Unfortunately, the number of people who are interested in this subject is increasing. This subject is diabetes. According to the World Health Organization, the number of diabetics was 108 million around the world in 1980, and that number increased to 422 million in 2012. You might say, of course, the population has increased, number of people with diabetes should increase, that's normal, but the percentage has increased. So it was 4.7% and decreased to 8.5%, which is almost a double. So the number of people, the percentage of people with diabetes has also increased, which is an alarming thing. The World Health Organization gives a, a general advice to avoid uh, diabetes, to reduce the probability of getting diabetes and also to protect yourself from the complications of diabetes. I think all of us know this advice, but just uh, to remind you of this general advice, you have to maintain healthy uh, ideal body weight, you have to follow a healthy diet, and you have to avoid tobacco. And one of the most important things is to exercise. If you are not exercising, you're losing a lot your health might be at risk. So, in addition to following the um, health organization, Shilajit might be a good supplement to protect you from getting diabetes, or even if you have diabetes, it might be helpful to reduce its complication, or maybe, I'm saying maybe, to cure it. But before I mention anything about that, I want to give you a general advice before you use Shilajit to help you with any uh, health issue like diabetes, it is highly recommended that you consult with your doctor or you consult with a Ayurvedic doctor or a herbalist. Uh, you have to follow a, a specialist advice before you jump into using Shilajit. So why do I say that Shilajit can be a very helpful supplement for diabetes? Because according to Ayurveda, Shilajit is classified as Rasayana, which means it can restore the health of your body or the health of any organ in your body. In addition to Ayurveda, uh, there are a few studies that examine the effectiveness of Shilajit for diabetes. One study examined the effectiveness of Shilajit for producing blood glucose and it found that it reduced, Shilajit, uh, sorry, it reduced uh, the blood glucose significantly and they compared that with two medications with lipoclomide and with metformin. They found that shilajit was more effective than metformin. And another uh, experiment that they conducted was to compare uh, these medications alone and these medications with shilajit and they found that shilajit improved and enhanced the effectiveness of these medications in reducing blood glucose. So yes, Shilajit can reduce blood glucose, but you have to take it every day to see the effect. Second study examined the effectiveness of Shilajit on oxidation. So oxidation is a bad thing that can happen to the pancreas or to any organ in the body because of diabetes. So they took 61 uh, human subjects with diabetes and they did not change their dosage of glibinclamide. They just gave them Shilajit for 30 days, half a gram twice daily. And they tested one index of oxidation and they found that that index was reduced significantly after the treatment with Shilajit. Another thing is that there is an enzyme that protects the cells from oxidation. That enzyme also increased. So this study says that you might be protecting your body and your organs from the oxidation if you are consuming Shilajit. A third study says that Shilajit on the long run, if you use it for a long time, might be helpful in inducing a process called pancreatotrophic, which means that the sensitivity of the pancreas cells will be enhanced and the secretion of insulin will be enhanced as well uh, as a response to glucose increase in the blood. So if you found this video helpful, please give us a like, share it with whomever will benefit from it, and if you don't want to miss anything in the future, subscribe. Thank you.